Counting down to first pitch tonight here at Miller Park. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. from Miller Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. MLB The Show is proud to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's baseball on a Saturday night. Game two of this three-game weekend series as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. And hi again, everybody, alongside Dave Campbell and Eric Karras. I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call on what should be a good one here. Soup, we'll turn to you first. What are you going to be keeping an eye on most in this matchup? Well, I think we can keep an eye on our pitching matchup here. Two excellent starters get the ball in this one, so runs could be coming at a premium. All right, Dave, and we'll hear from Eric shortly. But before we do, let's go to our starting lineup for the visiting Florida Marlins. It's brought to us by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll go to work against a guy who in 2010 came back brilliantly from an injury the previous season, the veteran right-hander Sean Markham. And there you see a look at the defensive alignment behind him for the Brewers. Logan Morrison will move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. First pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. First pitch, six ten. That's in there as well, so it's nothing in two to start the night. At the very least, he's showing some patience here to start the ball game. Well, that'll be important for him as we move along tonight. Swing and a miss on the fastball, then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Time for a check of the scouting report now as we run you through the arsenal of this 29-year-old right-hander. Omar Infante will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. That's not a bad spot to miss with a fastball. He'll do okay if he can keep it down there throughout. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. Bases are empty, one man out. The 2-0. And he's flying open a bit, Soup. That misses high, ball three. Showing real good patience there at the plate.
And he gets the call there, three and one. Swing and a hot shot toward third. But a quick love at third, and there are two gone. And these are the perils of playing the infield in. It's one thing to get a nice, easy two-hopper, but this thing's rocketed right at him. Good job to get leather on it, though, and save a run. Gabby Sanchez will take his first cuts of the ball game here. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. Throw to fielder at first will take care of him, and that'll be that. So a good half inning from Sean Markham. And now the Brewers will get their first cut. No score. Starting lineup for the Brewers, again brought to us by State Farm. And they'll go to work against the no-hit kid from back in 2008, the slender right-hander Clay Buckholtz. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. for the home nine to get their swings as Carlos Gomez is ready to lead off the bottom of inning number one. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. And that misses one and one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And these long at-bats give you a good sense of what a guy's featuring here in the first inning. Payoff pitch coming. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ballgame. 
Now he's got to take a deep breath out there on the mound right now. I mean, not only will he kick himself for walking the leadoff guy, but also he just walked the fastest guy in the building. I mean, that's definitely not what he wanted to do out there. Casey McGee will get his first opportunity now. Changeup called strike one. And if he can come in here and start putting that pitch in that location, ain't nobody going to touch him. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. And there are his numbers from last time out. Comes off a of victory in that performance, so he'd love to duplicate that here tonight. Prince Fielder will stand in for the first time now, coming off a three-hit contest in the loss last night. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Change up low, 2-0. and oh. Got to credit their patience here in this inning. They're just letting him work himself into trouble. in there two and one and you wonder if maybe he was taken there because he thought his runner was going to be moving from first okay. and he can't catch the corner here so he's behind three and one well this is a dangerous count here you don't want to give in but you sure don't want to walk him. Grounded foul. foul. Throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Here's a swing and a ground ball, and this will be a base hit for Fielder. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. Well, he got the ground ball he needed, but this one had eyes, and it's first and second now with still only one out. Ryan Braun. Will stand in fresh off a four hit ball game a night ago. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. Ramirez relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Brewers come up empty in the first. We've played an inning in Milwaukee. No score on the show. Hanley Ramirez will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. And 
This is taken for a ball low, I guess, but I think Old Blue might need an eye exam. It's 1-0. Oh. Boy, that looked pretty good. You hate to give a guy like that extra strikes to work with because he can make them hurt you. And a swing, and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Grounded foul off to the right side. Misses, ball two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Pretty close there on that last pitch. Show track will give us a pretty good look where it was, and yep, it's indeed out of the zone. A good call. Michael Stanton will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And if you miss, you want to miss inside. Don't make a mistake belt high out over the plate. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. Boy, there's the value of speed in the bases. The distraction over at first is very valuable to the guy at the plate. Now a throw over. In safely. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Just trying to find something that works here. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. One there. Back to Fielder, but it's a bit too late as they just get the one. Well, you know, I think this was a bit of a sell job over there at first. Look at him start to throw the ball around when, what? I think he knew he was safe, but he was hoping the first base umpire would think otherwise. Scott Cousins will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Come on, 
A look over to Stanton and now the pitch. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. To the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And this is knocked down on the mound. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom of the second. And we are tied nothing nothing. Corey Hart will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. And here's the first pitch. And there's a fastball from Buckholz as he gets ahead 0-1. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. And he is just firing bullets here in the early going. Now the pitch. And boy, I was waiting for him to get rung up there, but it never happened. Two and two now. Boy, nothing comes easy, does it? After that pitch was called a ball on the pitch before, I mean, I think this actually qualifies as strike four. You know, on the mound, he's probably thinking, hey, can I apply the credit to the next guy? Ricky Weeks will be the batter. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Wow, he is spotting that fastball on a dime here early on. Oh, and he goes the other way with a fastball. He drives it out to deep right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Around second, he'll try for third. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. 
fourth triple of the year for him so far. And this was a case where he was watching that ball as he was rounding first, and he just decided, I'm going for three. Unieski Betancourt will stand in. Fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And this is where you need to do some situational hitting. Just a ground ball up the middle here will get this run home. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Hmm, I'm surprised he didn't take a whack at that one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. and That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. The three and one pitch. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. And now, even on three and two, there's no guarantee he's going to get another fastball here. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. In time to first, and there are two away. Had a good opportunity to drive that guy in. Now we'll see if the next guy can get the job done. Mike Rivera will take his cuts now. First pitch coming. Ball one. And I was about to call this a strike, but apparently not. It's 2-0. Yeah, that's getting bailed out at the plate. <gasps> Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. And with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third. back just did get a piece of that one so he stays alive here and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball 
Boy, it's so important as a pitcher to have faith that your catcher can block that pitch with a runner on third. That's good work right there. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. The 3-2 one more time. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We play two full, and we are tied nothing-nothing. John Buck will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Off there, one and zero. Oh. Line hard into left. Braun is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. There's definitely a lot of scoreboard watching going on at this time of year, and these guys are no exception. But you really have to focus on the task at hand and not get swept up in what other teams do. You just have to take care of your own business. Brian Peterson will stand in for the first time here. First pitch coming. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Gomez is back to the warning track, though, as he gloves it for the second out. Looking to get on the board for the first time here. I thought this had a good chance off the bat, but it just kind of runs out of gas near the wall. Clay Buckholz will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Now a fastball here from Markham as he gets ahead. No balls in a strike. Another first pitch strike. He's had these guys working from behind quite a bit here in the early going. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line, but foul. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. Now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And you can see what he's trying to do with these last two pitches, hoping to get him to reach out for something. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to Betancourt at short. Throw on to fielders in time, and with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. 
Home half of the third coming up. No score. Sean Markham makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Slider worked last time. Why not go to it again? 0 and 2. And he has not been all that efficient with his pitches through the first two innings. He'll need to step it up a bit here in inning number three. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. And the prevailing thought is you're going to get at least one really good pitch to hit in it at bat. But I'm not sure he did there. Those were three really good pitches. So one gone in the inning, and that brings up the speedy Carlos Gomez. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Now here's the pitch. Now a ground ball towards the hole. There to take it is Ramirez. On to first, and a good start to the inning for Buckholtz. Two away now. Yeah, both these two starters are matching each other in the early inning, stride for stride. He's an out away now from a 1-2-3 bottom of the third. Casey McGee will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Watch is a fastball right there for strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. <gasps> and he takes strike two. And now 0-2 here. This is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. One two pitch is a bit high, and he's back to even at two and two. And they obviously think he'll chase a fastball with two strikes because they keep going to it. <laughs> 
swing and a liner. Taken by Infante. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Gone in order of the Brewers. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Logan Morrison will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Low for ball one. Here's the one oh. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. And pretty obvious that he didn't care for that call too much. You can see the look of disgust there. And this is fouled straight back. him out of the zone here and he obliges not the greatest of swings there for the first out so after getting the strikeout on the fastball not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters and whoa look at that for a top speed 98 miles an hour that man is flat dealing leadoff man retired for Omar Infante Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's one and one now. Boy, almost an identical pitch as the last one, but this time he gets the call. Out of play. Slice down the line at first. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Gabby Sanchez steps in now. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One and, oh. and now at the plate, you got to do something to get this guy out of the roll he's been on. And 
now another pitch taken by Sanchez as he's got it to 2-0 now. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A strike and it's two and one. That would have been a good one to offer at there. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Fouled straight back. Another 2-2 offering. Swing and a ball lifted in the air to straightaway right. And Hart will make the play, and the inning is over. Florida down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Saturday Night Baseball here on MLB The Show as we give you a look at our National League scoreboard presented by the Baseball Hall of Fame. Prince Fielder will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's the first offering. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Swing and a bouncer out in front. Throw on to first in time, one away. Ryan Braun will step in now. Another first pitch strike, and he's just running rough shot right through this lineup. Well, they just have not put up much of a fight. I, I totally agree. He's had his way out there from the word go. Well, I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. And he's in that mindset now where he can do just about anything he wants to. Now the pitch. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Lays off two and two now. Ball three. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, he is really making him work out there. Oh, and this 
Davis just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Ryan Braun with the solo home run. 32 now for the season. As the Brewers get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Boy, I want you to check out the location of where this pitch is in the strike zone. It's up and it's right down the middle. I, I mean, maybe you get away with that to a 220 hitting backup catcher, but not to a guy like this. Corey Hart will be the batter. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And Hart has himself a base hit. And that right there is his 100th base hit of the season. Not a huge milestone, but he'll take it nonetheless. Ricky Weeks will dig in. A triple in his first plate appearance in the ball game. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. Number 17 is there and he has it for the out. Unieski Betancourt will stand in. He grounded out his first time. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. Boy, and perfectly located right there. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. And now, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see this next one be a change-up in the dirt. On the move is Hart. Swing and a liner. But foul. Swing and a liner toward right center. And Betancourt's going to reach. He's got a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And a relay to the plate. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Mike Rivera will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Hits softly to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out. This side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Brewers lead this one two to nothing.
Hanley Ramirez will dig in here. Takes a cold strike, 0-1. And, and that's pitch number 50 here to begin the fifth. No problems on that front. And he misses with it, one and one. Go, shut him down. Swing hard liner to left center. And no chance for Betancourt. That's a base hit. And you see the numbers right there. This is a guy that will go in any situation. So he may be off and running here. Michael Stanton will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Now a ball hit hard but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Late on the changeup but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And this one is a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 18 for him on the campaign as the Marlins have rallied back to tie it at two apiece. This is a situation where you wonder how much of his concentration is on first base and how much of it is on home plate. Because if you're not 100% locked in on the guy at the plate, folks will make you pay at this level. Scott Cousins will be the batter. Now here it comes. And they guessed right on the bunt, but this is going to be close. And a high throw that time. The fielder's able to go up and get it for the first down. Well, when the third base was playing in, I think you need to drag this ball down the first baseline because this is a much taller order when the third baseman can get on the ball so quickly. John Buck will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. And out of here! A solo shot off the bat of John Buck, number 14 on the season, as the Marlins move out in front now, 3-2. to two. Well, he lost his shutout earlier in the inning, but things are starting to unravel for him a little quicker now. That pitch was in a bad location, and it looks like things are starting to snowball on him just a bit here. Brian Peterson will try it again. He flew out his first time.
And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And now a pitch on the way. Down in front of this one, and it's fouled down the line at first. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Off-speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone just got a bit larger, two away. Well, I'm sure he'll say the damage is already done after serving up the lead, but... You know, that's good fortitude to come back with the punch out. Now, he needed that. Clay Buckholz will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Foul back. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Marlins three and the Brewers two. Sean Markham will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Now the first pitch. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. And, and now let's see if he can settle in a little now that he's pitching with the lead. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. hit on the ground but foul here he comes again one two and he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right Stanton is camped under this one and he's got it for the first out Carlos Gomez will dig in. 
0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch to him. Ball one. And Gomez not biting on that one either. It's 2-0 now. And you certainly want to make sure you throw strikes to this guy because he'll steal you blind if you give him a free pass. Two-0 is a fastball, not close. He's behind three and zero now. And this is a guy that will be happy to take a walk. So I think you really need to challenge him a little more on the mound. One out, nobody on. Here it comes, 3-0. In there on the corner, 3-1. and one. He can afford to be patient here because all he's looking to do is get on base and do his damage from there. strike and it's full three and two and sometimes you just got to wait this guy out up there he hasn't felt right about any of those first five pitches but number six could be different now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd 3-2 pitch. Center field. Cousins is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Casey McGee will step in. A ground out victim his last time. Now here's the first pitch. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And at the plate, he's just one for seven in the series, so he's in a bit of a cold spell. And this will be fouled away. A swing and a ball hit back up the box. Throw in time and the side is retired. A good inning of work there from Clay Buckle. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Logan Morrison will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. And that misses for ball one. And 
and the fastball is lined into right field for a leadoff single. Took him until the fifth to finally break through against this guy, and now the leadoff man's on here to start their half of the sixth inning. Omar Infante digs in at the plate. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. Runners off for second. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Ball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. And this is taken out there by Braun for the first out. Gabby Sanchez will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Outside for ball one. And that misses two and oh. Still just a sixth inning of work, but already that location starting to lose a little sharpness. And there's the first strike, two and one. Sanchez awaits the 2-1. Now a good slider there. Tough pitch, and from 2-0, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. Back on it is Hart, but he will not have a play on this one. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, number 14 on the season. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Well, it may just have been a matter of time before he locked in on one here tonight. You can see the location on show track. This is right where he likes it. He turns on this pitch beautifully and just drives it right over the wall. 
Now here comes Brewers manager Ron Renicki out of the Milwaukee dugout. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to be all for Sean Markham. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. New pitcher coming on now, the veteran Japanese right-hander Takashi Saito. Hanley Ramirez will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. First offering on the way. Rounded to third. What a stop. On the first and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Well, this is a guy known more for his bat than his glove, but he flashes some serious leather on that one. That was nice. Michael Stanton will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch coming. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and And he's almost twice his age on the mound. That's quite a generational gap here. Hits are even right now at five aside. Lays off again and it's 2-0. He was summoned out of the bullpen fairly quickly here. It looks to me like he may not be fully warmed up yet. Here comes the 2-0. Swing and a hot shot down the line. But this is a foul ball. And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. And that ball is out of here. A solo shot here off the bat of Mike Stanton. His second home run of the game as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. Yeah, make it four home runs as a team now after that last one. And this guy's led the way with two of those four. I tell you, I wouldn't give this guy anything to hit next time around. He's as locked in as you can get. Scott Cousins will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. And that misses ball one. And this is a guy that will not rattle easily out there, so don't expect him to go into a shell. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. fouled straight back three runs already home here
The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. Strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. Florida's out in front, six to two. Prince Fielder will dig in, one for two thus far. Third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Hit hard, but foul. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Ah, and this is how big innings can sometimes get started. This is an 0-2 pitch. Certainly no intent here, but this comes in and gets him, and now that leadoff man's on base for free. Ryan Braun will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. and And even though he's spinning a gem, he's still going to need to avoid that home run ball, so location is still going to be important. Line hard to center field. In there, a base hit. The relay throw... And they will not get him at third, so the Brewers have runners at the corners to start the inning. And on the mound, here's where you got to keep pitching like it's a one-run game. You never want to get in that relaxed mode where you think, eh, I've got some cushion, I, I can afford to give up some hits. That'll spell disaster. Corey Hart will step in, one for two in the ball game. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside. The throw is there, and he's out trying to take second. Ball here that's taken for ball two. And with this being a four run game, they'll elect to keep the infield back here and play for that out at first base. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. He's ready now, the pitch. And there's ball three. Oh, and the crowd will boo here. They want to see him get a chance to swing the bat. Taking all the way that time, it's three and one. And that pitch count is 88 now, but to me, he looks good to go. Oh. 
And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And he's saying, give me a break. And that pitcher's right there. And I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. Ricky Weeks will be the batter. One for two, including a triple thus far. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And for Milwaukee, this is a spot where you really need that one key hit. In the dirt, but good work back there by Buck to hold on. Both teams with six hits so far. Now the 2-0. And he lays off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. One sure way to get these guys back in the ball game is to keep putting them in good hitters counts. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And he's managed to load the bases now, despite just one hit in the inning. Got to find a way to bounce back out there. Unieski Betancourt steps in now. Fastball by him here, 0-1. Well, even though you're down four, you don't need to get them all back in one swing. Just think line drive. is up and in and I don't think he likes that location much it's ball one and he's obviously not trying to hit him there he just let that one get away from him one one coming now to Bettencourt and that's swung on and fouled straight back Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Going a little more with a breaking ball here as he goes along. We didn't see it as much the first few times through. And the fastball here is hit on the ground but foul. Ready with another 2-2. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still 2-2. Two and two. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. And nowhere to put him. He can just look for something good here. And it missed. 
This is ball four, and that will force home a run. Well, that was an easy one to lay off there. That was a good job of focusing the RBI on. Here comes Marlins manager Edwin Rodriguez now on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all now for Clay Buckles. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three-run lead. Steve Ciszek will come on and try to get out of this mess here as there are two on with only one away. Rivera will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. First pitch on the way. And that's dead center for strike one. And you can bet that his manager will be studying him on the mound to see how he handles himself here. Swing and a miss hits 0-2. And you can bet the starter's sticking around to watch the end of this inning. He wants to see how many more runs get added to his ERA. Three runs, six hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Surprising that he needs the double play ball, yet he hasn't turned to the sinker yet. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Oh, if there was ever a time for a strikeout, that, that was it. The bases remain loaded with two away now, so, you know, if they can get out of this with only one run scoring, that'd be quite a comeback. Craig Council will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. Oh, he's, he's got a legitimate gripe right there. I don't know about that one. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now the pitch. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Brewers forced to settle for one. Seventh inning coming up. The Marlins lead it 6-3. to three.
Time for another look at the scoreboard tonight as this time we check the action in the American League. to the bullpen now as it's the left-hander Manny Parra that'll make an appearance here. John Buck will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. Lays off 1-0. and And he's already extended the hitting streak with that home run earlier, so he won't have to worry about that. Now the 1-0 pitch. Oh. And he takes a cold strike one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Uh, had to protect on one and two, and this is a fly ball out to straightaway right field. Hart will wait on it. One down. Well, you've got one job to do on the mound right now. Do not let this deficit get any wider than three. So that's a good job to set down that leadoff man right there. Brian Peterson will step in now. First pitch is hit on the ground to the shortstop Betancourt. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Yeah, kind of a high chopper. This is a tough play for a shortstop on the move. Winds up beating it out. Emilio Bonifacio will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. change up here to start things out but that'll dip a bit too low and it's one and oh and remember this is a very tough guy to double up so even on a ground ball they might not get out of the inning swing at a high pop drifting into foul territory Fielder is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Yeah. 
Logan Morrison will dig in here. to first and dive but he's back hard hit towards center dives and he makes the catch how about that for an exclamation point to the end of the inning Marlins leave one as they're unable to add to their 6-3 to three lead Call to the bullpen now is coming in to take over is the former starter right-hander Clay Hensley. Carlos Gomez will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. Well, Gomez definitely has the speed to beat that out, so that should be at least in the back of your mind. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And after challenging him up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up right at the knees. And with Prince Fielder lurking, we'll see a left-hander get up in the bullpen. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. And a waste pitch there, one and two. And a lot of times, this is where he likes to elevate that fastball and try to get guys to chase. Low for a ball as he battles back from down 0-2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. Oh, and when that pitch left his hand, I bet he thought he had a strikeout. Grounded foul, still two strikes. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. And it's obvious they want to make him go down and get something because the last three have been down around the knees. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Hit hard to the left side. And Gomez will reach. It's a base hit. And these guys have been in a lot of close games this year, and it's gone their way more often than not. Let's see if they can pull another rabbit out of their hat. 
Casey McGee will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now the first pitch. He's running towards second. A pitch out. The throw. And they'll apply the tag, and he is out at second. And I know that sometimes guys feel like they need to really make something happen when they're down by three late, but you're already running out of outs. Is this really what you want to be doing? I'm not so sure. Hits are even at seven apiece. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 and now. And in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. And that's through a base hit. And this is just a case of a guy fighting off a tough pitch. I mean, you can see the swing. He's totally bunched up, yet he somehow manages to get enough on it that it becomes a base hit. Prince Fielder will be the batter, one for two thus far. takes ball one and this is a guy you'd probably rather pitch to the corners instead of up off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball oh and a good job there of anticipating that pitch in the dirt Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Drifting back behind first now. Infante ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Yeah, this isn't an easy play for a second baseman. He's got so much to worry about. The, the first baseman backing up, the right fielder charging in. You know, But this is his ball, and he puts it away without much trouble. Ryan Braun will be the batter. Two for three with a home run thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And a good fastball that time from Hensley as he jumps ahead, nothing and one. Spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Fouled straight back. Oh. And a good two strike breaking ball there, but this will wind up missing. It's one and two. And if he can get this guy, he'll qualify for a hold if this indeed winds up being his last batter. Inside for a ball, so he misses with two straight here, and it's back to two and two. And now an important pitch here, because if you go three and two, that's going to activate the runner.
Here's the two and two offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. And one benefit of this extra patience is the runner at first will get a head start on three and two. Close, but no cigar, says Joe Watson. Hits ball four. You just can't afford to be putting guys on base this late in the game. Now, all of a sudden, the tying run's going to stride to the plate, so he better get his command back in a hurry. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And standing in is the right fielder, Corey Hart. It's coming just off the outside and it's 1-0 and oh. and these guys better hope his location clears itself up pretty soon and that's too high ball two and this hole he's digging on the mound, it's all his doing. He's got to be able to find the strike zone. Ball three. And now he's really got to reach back and find it here. comes on three and oh and that's over three and one and he can't afford to walk him right here so I might be looking for another fastball at the plate on three and one right with the fastball here to drive out to deep right center field and see you later that one is gone so a three run shot to right center field number 21 for him on the season as they pull even it's 6-6 now well one swing of the bat and we're right back where we started this pitch just looked like it was hanging out a string, and all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a tie ball game. Anibal Sanchez will get the ball looking to get the final out now here in this seventh inning. Ricky Weeks will stand in base on balls his last time. Not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. Oh. Boy, tough call to get on your first pitch of the ball game. He's thinking that was a strike in the bullpen. Now a ball lined back over second, and that's in there. Base hit. Well, they summon the righty out of the bullpen to get a favorable matchup, but this time it backfires on him. Unieski Betancourt will stand in. Base on balls his last time.
First pitch coming now from Sanchez. And he gets ahead 0-1. Yeah, with two outs, you got to get a good lead at first so you can score that go-ahead run on a ball in the gap. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. One and one. And the folks here have been treated to quite a ball game so far. Fastball called strike one and two. And on the mound, he needs that put-away instinct right here. Weeks leads from first, the pitch. And a slider that time as it's hit on the ground, but foul. Ball swung on and grounded out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. But three in the inning for the Brewers on the strength of this three-run home run. Seven complete here tonight, and we're all even now at six and six. Omar Infante will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. A little funny that we'd see guys bunting for hits in such a high-scoring ball game, and this attempt just doesn't pan out. Gabby Sanchez will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. front to start the at back but this misses off the plate away it's ball one and they could certainly use another home run out of him right here and here's a fastball in for strike one 91 miles an hour that time. And looking around this place, not too many people have made their way to the exits. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two.
swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Fielder is over now and he's got it for route number two. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Hanley Ramirez will step in. One for two with a walk thus far. Taken high and outside for ball one. Ball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Now the one and one pick. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Two out, nobody on. Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Weird, still tied six and six. Randy Choate will come on in relief now, and he'll be making appearance number 80 on the season thus far. Mike Rivera will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. pitch here that he probably shouldn't have 0 and 1 and there's ball one 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 pitch on the way swing and he takes this the other way to right and there's a base hit so just like that the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go ahead run and he is safe at second base as he legs out a double and there you go the go ahead on second base here to start their half of the eighth inning so now the momentum definitely swings in their favor as they have a good chance to take the lead here late.
Matt Gamble. He is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll pinch hit for the pitcher, Para. their closer starts to get loose out there. Fastball bounces up to the plate and it's taken for a ball. Yeah, and I thought they might have him bunting to get that go-ahead run to third, but no dice at least on that first pitch. The next pitch. And that's right there, and we're even at one. They get the runner to third as it's on the ground toward second base. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. And this could very easily have become a base hit that drives in the go-ahead run from second. Instead, look at the diving stop and strong throw that keeps this a tie ball game. That's gold glove caliber right there. So a runner stands at third. One man is out. Standing in the speedy Carlos Gomez. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And they leave the lefty in to face the righty. This must be all about having a gut feeling as a manager. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Gomez waits. Here's the 1-1. Now the runner's on his way home. And he'll be tagged out at the plate as the suicide squeeze doesn't quite work as planned. And there are suddenly two away. And a gutsy time to call for the squeeze. Everything has to be right. And it would have worked if it weren't for one little thing. You've got to make contact. Somehow, some way, you've got to do it or that guy will be hung out to dry. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. The dangerous Mike Stanton will get the first shot when we return. Score remains tied six apiece. But Troy Hawkins will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. Michael Stanton will stride in again and before he takes his cuts here we take you back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'll stand in here looking for number three. Some action now in the Milwaukee pen as the left-hander Mitch Stetter has started to throw. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Well, he'll lean pretty heavily on that fastball. Why not? It's a big one. Here's the pitch. 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Fouled back. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. And you've got to be braver than a bullfighter to challenge this guy with a fastball. But he fires it right by him for the strikeout. Scott Cousins will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. Ball one. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Here's the 1 1. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Hart is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. And I would imagine he was really geared for the fastball there, but he got something off speed, so he was out on his front foot a bit and took this to his pull field for an easy fly out. Chris Coughlin will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. offering and he starts him out with well it looked like a strike but it's ruled a ball one and oh yeah sometimes the tide of an at bat hinges on an umpire's call we could easily be 0 and one right now lays off the fastball away and it's two and oh Changed up on him here, but this is a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Taking here and looks at strike two right down the middle. Oh. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Boy, and in the late stages of a tie ball game, this just can't happen. 
you know he's going to have his eye on second base here, so this could get pretty dicey pretty quick. Brian Peterson will see if he can find a gap somewhere as he's got the possible go-ahead run at first with two down. first pitch and he lays off there 1 and 0 and they're going to continue to stick with him I don't know I think that walk a second ago would have been enough for me here's a ground ball to first and Fielder will step on the bag. A three unassisted for Prince, and the inning is over. So they pick up no run, no hit, no error, and a runner left. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. And we are all even at six apiece. John Baker is into the ballgame here as he takes over behind the plate. Casey McGee will step in, one for four in the ballgame. toward the gap in left center. Number 17 is there and he makes the catch for the out. And if this ball is in the alley a little more, who knows where he would have wound up. Instead, this finds the outfielder's glove and fortunately for them, keeps the potential winning run off base. Prince Fielder will get another crack, one for three thus far. Here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Here's the 1-0. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And there's your winning run on first with one out in the inning. A ball in the gap could be a game winner, but you have to figure this next guy is going to get a steady diet of pitches down in the zone. Ryan Braun stand in in a tie ball game here where a ball in the alley could end this thing. Line to left. Number 17 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Had two hits already and almost a third here, but this ball hangs up just a little bit too long out there, and it was right at him. Corey Hart will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. first pitch and boy a high strike called there that's not all that consistent but it's strike one 
Yeah, I don't know about that. That might have been a reputation call there. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And he's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you? Pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Swinging a hard liner to short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means we'll have to go a little longer tonight to find a winner. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, and we are all even at six apiece. Ronnie Belliard is up off the bench to pinch hit here, so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frames. Hawkins starts him out with a good hard fastball to get ahead 0-1. And his reward for a strong ninth inning is that he'll be allowed to come back out to work the 10th. Ball one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. A two one offering. And ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. Boy, this umpire is expanding the strike zone in every conceivable direction. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. And this is the possible go-ahead run here at the plate. So you've got to make him earn his way on to start the inning. Three two picks. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the tenth. Hit that one right on the nose, but right to him for the out. Logan Morrison will get another shot after he was robbed of a hit on a gorgeous plays last time.
out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Near the stands, and he brings this one back in. He took that right out of the first row. Wow. And this is exactly what you want. A quick inning here in the top of the tent. You want to get right back to Hacken so you can shift that pressure into the other dugout. Omar Infante will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. coming 4-1 and that pitch misses in the dirt and it's 2-0 and now was a fastball not close he's behind three and oh now and if managers hate walks in the first nine innings they really hate him in the extra frames and he lays off ball four now the potential go-ahead run is on base here Boy, he's really digging himself in a hole right here. The last thing you want to do is put the possible go-ahead run on base without even making him swing the bat. Gabby Sanchez will try it again. He homered back in the sixth inning. Ball. One ball, no strikes. And this is the guy you got to get right here. Hit hard to the right, but foul. to one and two. And you don't get to have an ERA in the twos without getting a lot of guys to swing and miss at that pitch. fouled straight back. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time and he draws even a two and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. Now a 
good swing there as he sends this one high and deep toward the left field corner. Braun is back to the track, though, as he pulls it in, and a sigh of relief as the side is retired. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10, and we are all even at six apiece. Burke Badenhop will come on here to start the home 10th, and all he's looking to do is get this one to the 11th inning. Ricky Weeks will dig in, two for three, including a triple. And a tough slider there as he grounds it foul. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, he might be saving that slider again until he gets the two strikes. Ready with the 2-1. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3-1. and one. And this is the potential winning run at the plate. You've got to make him swing the bat. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Well, and here in extra innings, you just need one little spark, something that can get you going. You know, we've seen a leadoff walk to be the difference in a ball game more times than once, so they need to take advantage of this. Unieski Betancourt will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And now here in the 10th inning, moving that runner up to second is going to be critical. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Only play will be the first, so there you go. The possible winning run is into scoring position now on the sacrifice. Mike Rivera will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball in his eyes. One strike. And on the infield, you've got to dive at everything. Make sure you can at least knock the ball down. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Not very good discipline here. He chases one out of the strike zone on the last pitch. Then turns around and just stares at strike two. Now the 0-2 pitch. And this is grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. 
possible game winners at second base here with one away. And he struck him out. Boys, that's a big punch out there. Now with two away, you can work on just getting one more out and extending this game another inning. Will Nieves will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Ball hit back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And the winning run is across the score. Well, they came right after him there with the game on the line, and he comes through with a clutch hit in extra innings and sends these fans home happy. Offensively tonight by this man, Corey Hart. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, man, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. This has been a presentation of MLB 11 The Show. For more, get out your smartphones and click on over to theshownation.com. The Brewers win it 7-6. Stay tuned for highlights and for all of us at the show. Good night from Milwaukee.